Okay, let's take a look around this uh, Y Reg. So that must be 2001. Um, Land Rover Defender 110 TD5 County Station Wagon in six seater spec. The, uh, the rear seats have been removed, the sideways facing seats have been taken out, probably for insurance reasons. Um, finished in black with a white roof, which is uh, an unusual combination. It's quite a high spec one, this one. It's got uh, air conditioning, um, anti lock brakes, and traction control on it. Otherwise, it's got a matching set of uh, general grabbers, four general grabbers, I haven't checked the spare, um, on boost alloys. Um, it's got silver grille and uh, light surrounds. Standard county station wagon spec in that it's got sunroof and tinted glass and cloth interior. It's also got uh, full length excess side steps, mud flaps all round, adjustable tow pack, hard spare wheel cover. Um, and inside, it's uh, so it's in six seater spec with a front centre seat. Uh, it's also got a nice JVC uh, radio CD with uh, auxiliary plug. Um, right, let's go around and pick out some good bits and bad bits. Paintwork looks to be largely original to me. It doesn't look as if it's uh, had much repainting. Um, the roof is in nice shape, certainly. Um, Black obviously shows every single mark, and this one has done a bit of work in its life, so there's a bit of paint loss here and there, uh, but no checker plate rash on it, which uh, people normally cover up the paint loss with. Um, let's have a look. Front bumper looks to be fairly new because it's very, very straight indeed, and it's the later one with the side caps on it. Um, up here around the front end, we've got a couple of, we've got a little dent just here where the wing joins that panel, and the wing top is slightly crinkled possibly someone stood on it which the checker plate does stop that or it stops it from, from going crinkly um, I'm not going to list every single scratch on it being black it has got you know a few scratches but there are a couple of scratches down here and there's some paint loss on the seam of the um, of the uh, where the wing joins the uh, the top panel uh, the air conditioning panel here has got a scratch and there's a larger scratch just here and another mark just there but as I say, I'm not going to go every single one. It's a you know, 15, 16 year old Defender in black. That's what you get, I'm afraid. Um, looking down the near side, a few parking dinks and donks here and there, especially in the front passenger door. Uh, we've got a little bit of discoloration, a slight, very slight scuff in the paint just there on the uh, wheel arch eyebrow, and a bit of discoloration just here. Um, more important things than that, the scuttle corner on the near side actually looks to be in very good shape all round. Um, screen rubber is a bit past its best, they always seem to be. Um, but there's no bubbling around the screen that I can see. As I say, the roof panel is nice. There are a few areas where the where sort of rust is just bubbling through on the gutters uh, on both sides. There's a bit there and a bit towards the back. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, <coughs> in the near side front door, we've got a parking dent just there and some scratches here, and a bit of paint loss up there, and a bit of electrolytic reaction on the um, base of the door frame. Hinge pins are slightly worn on the near side because I can lift the door very slightly. But then again, so it has done uh, 150 odd thousand miles. We'll come back to the door frame in a minute. Um, headlining is a little bit grubby so this one has worked for a living so the seats are a little bit um, uh, stained and marked and, and grubby shall we say we have tried uh, cleaning them up a bit but hasn't really responded to it I'm afraid um, it's all nicely uh, it's got urban truck mats in it and stuff and sound deadening underneath uh, dash is all in one piece one thing the middle top of them I think it's had a dog in it as well at some point because the top of the middle seat has been quite badly chewed just along here. Um, obviously the middle seat is easily replaceable. Most people prefer to fit a centre cubby box in fairness, which goes on the same mounts, but uh, so it's just the, but the seat facings aren't ripped or torn at all. Uh, certainly the front passenger or the middle seat aren't. Let's have a look at the frame on the front passenger door. Frame actually feels really good on there. Yeah, that's good. No, uh, rust coming off as I'm doing it. Carrying on round, we've got a bit of paint loss down there on the um, back of the modesty cover and a bit of electrolytic reaction on the closing panel. Um, 
rear passenger door isn't rusting there where they normally do. Uh, the D post all looks to be in good shape. That's just a bit where we polished it. That's not um, a hole or anything. Um, again, matted out in the back. Rear seats are in reasonably good shape. As I say, the headlining is slightly grubby, but uh, it is a say a vehicle that has done some work for a living. Oh yes, but again, this dog has been at the back of this passenger headrest up here. Has <laughs> chewed it quite a lot um, up there, around there, and down there. Um, near side rear wing looks okay. Tub top trims look good. So a little bit of corro, a bit of rust discoloration just up here on the guttering. Uh, around the tail end, cross member has been finished in gloss black to match the rest of it and actually looks rather good. Looks to be in good order. I haven't been through the history yet to see what uh, work it's had but I know it has just recently been MOT'd. We talked about the adjustable tow pack. Let's have a look in the back here. As I say the carpet is a bit grubby. Could do with a mat over the top of it. Um, the mounts are still there for the uh, for the original seat belts that are in the back, but so there's no seats in there. Actually, has this one had? Yes, it has had seats in the back, so there's holes. Um, it's missing its uh, rear wiper washer, right rear wiper nozzle, rear, rear washer nozzle. But we have ordered a new one for it. Um, door card is a bit tired around here. Probably that same dog again. But the door frame on the rear door again feels to be in. Good order around the back edge, bottom edge rather. Carrying on round, bit of electrolytic reaction on the tub top trim up here, and a bit there, and a bit there. But uh, looking down the offside again, a couple of parking dinks in the barrel sides on the doors, but uh, nothing really major. Um, we talked about the little rough spots on the guttering. Uh, offside rear wing, bit of electricity reaction down here on the very bottom of the wing, bubbling under the paint. Um, quite a lot of paint loss on the back of the modesty cover on the uh, offside and I think that has had some paint work because it looks slightly matte there. And that's probably the only section that I can really find. I'm sure there'll be others. Um, so a couple of parking dinks and scuffs and scratches in the offside rear door. But again, um, this area looks like it's had a, a bit of remedial work on it, uh, on the, um, the usual spot where they rust, on the rear passenger door. Again, the D-post looks to be in good order. Um, keep going. A couple of parking dinks in the driver's door, one there, one there, two, one there and one there, and another one there. And another tiny one just there. Um, we talked about the, mod the paintwork loss on the modesty cover, scuttle corner on the offside, apart from the screen block on the offside losing a lot of its paint, the scuttle corner itself looks to be in good shape. And then inside Again, the driver's door hinge pins are a little bit tired. A little bit of free movement in the, in the, uh, in the hinge pins. Um, driver's seat, apart from that bit there, the, the metal's just about to come through. And it's lost a little bit of its... Uh, the, the padding has sort of disintegrated a bit behind, behind the bolster just there. Um, but the most, let's try this door frame. A little bit of surface rust on the door frame, but again, it's not crunching. I'm not pulling bits off. It's not cutting my fingers. What's that? A little tiny bit there. Yeah, a little tiny bit. That's it. Nothing really. Nothing else really on there. So, not bad really. Um, as I say, a couple of scratches, a couple of battle scars. No major dents or anything. Just uh, the odd dink, dink here and there. But it's rather nice, uh, in my opinion. My name is Simon, you can reach me in the office on 0818 907 1495 or you can go to our website which is www.motodrome.co.uk for any further information. End.